We're now joined on the sports mix by the head football coach as well as the girls basketball coach at Hedgesville High School, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, let's start off uh, talking some football as the regular season for you guys came to an end, unfortunately, in a 42-6 to losing fashion against Spring Mills. But what were your takeaways from that game? I mean, I thought we... As we came out, we got the momentum there, uh, first kick off of the game. And, you know, I think just didn't settle in uh, defensively like the, the, the previous three weeks. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're a good team. You know, they got a lot of good athletes. Uh, you know, the line blocks really well. They took us out of what we wanted to wanted to do. And offensively, I mean, they, they doubled DeMonte. They moved guys over top of him. Uh, we couldn't establish a run. It's just – all the little things add up, you know, ended up not going our way. And with that, your team ends the season with a 3-7 and seven record. Not the way that people really expected it, including you guys, of course, to go. But what did you learn about this year's team? Yeah, we got guys that, you know, that weren't going to be starters for us all year long. And when all these injuries started to mount up, pile up, we had guys that missed some key roles and, and going forward, I think we found some guys that you know, we can count on going into next season. You know, our, our our freshman team, you know, they got some pretty good players there and, and moving things along and got a good eighth grade class coming in. So for us going forward, it's just making sure we got the depth that we need for when injuries occur because at the end of the day, when in the game of football, injuries occur pretty often. After that game, that being the last game for your senior class, uh, kind of just walk us through what was said to them and how uh, they impacted your program. Uh, you know, I, I thanked them. Uh, you know, like I said, three years ago, four years ago, when we took this thing over, you know, they were freshmen uh, and they stuck around when everything was going bad. Uh, 19 game losing streak. Um, you know, they could have up and left and went somewhere else, but they stayed. They grinded it out. They trust the process. And, you know, they gave themselves a chance uh, for the last three years to, to get the playoffs. And that's something that hasn't been said around here for a long time. Uh, and I think they left it better than they found it. Uh, I mean, I just think uh, injuries and little things mounted up to the point where we couldn't dig ourselves out of that hole. Coach, moving forward, you mentioned the injuries kind of held you back maybe this season, but what it did allow you to do is get a look at some of those younger guys that are going to be back for next season. Um, so in that sense, it was kind of a positive. Um, moving forward, what do you think this team needs to do to get back into the playoffs? Well, I think the number one thing is in the all season, you know, you got to you got to lift, get bigger, stronger, faster. But what a lot of kids don't understand is that weight room can help you minimize injury risk. And uh, that's where going forward, uh, that's going to be our big push here this this off offseason. Uh, a lot of flex- flexibility, mobility, uh, stretching, making sure that we can rehab some of these injuries because some of them were season-ending and some of them are pretty severe. So making sure we're locked in there. And, you know, at the end of the day, just keep building this thing is, you know, every year when this thing comes out at the beginning of the year, you know, making sure that we're in the conversation and, that's where we weren't uh, four years ago. So as long as we're doing things the right way this offseason, I think we're, we'll be okay going into the next season. And now back-to-back seasons, Coach. Um, the EPAC sees four teams get into the playoffs. You guys were one of those teams last year. Unfortunately, you weren't this year. But just overall, I mean, the competition with this conference and how tough it is, any group of these, you know, six teams could see four, three or four teams make it each year. Um, moving forward, you know, kind of knowing about the strength of the conference, I guess just what what does it mean to you to play in a conference that's so competitive? Well, I mean, I, I think as a whole, I think any time your conference is, is deep top to bottom, I think it's, it's better for, you know, everybody in the conference just for the simple fact of now you're getting points, you're getting strength of schedule uh, points, stuff like that. And, Every night in the EPAC, I mean, it doesn't matter who you play every Friday night. you got a chance of going out and getting beat. And it's it's a knockdown drag out. Uh, you know, we had our coaches, our EPAC coaches meeting the other night. and You know, we sat there and talked for a while. 
and I'll put this conference up against anybody in the state. And, you know, we're, we're not going back down next year game one. We got Woodrow Wilson. So for us, we're, we're looking to go out and play other, other conferences to see where we, you know, where we line up. Three and seven, the season ends. What though were some goals that your team did accomplish this year? I mean, I think for us, you know, uh, going into it, we didn't know how we would run the football. Uh, I think we ran we ran the, the football pretty well early on uh, until the injury started mounting up at the on the O line and at running back. Because I mean, there for a while we were on our four string running back and our four string quarterback. So, you know, ran the ball pretty well, uh, better than I thought we would. And, you know, going into next year, I think for us, it's you know we gotta we gotta get the ball to our athletes a little more, find new ways to get it to them. So that that's the big thing for us going into next year. I think I uh, I want to transition now, coach, into girls basketball as that season coming up here. Uh, with you coaching both sports, how much time have you been able to dedicate to girls basketball? With football being the fall sport, and then I guess what are you looking for for this season from your team? Uh, I mean, we had flex practices uh, through through football season. Uh, I, I did those later on in the evening, so as soon as football was done, I come directly off the practice field and go straight into the gym. So, uh, you know, I put the time in with them. Uh, the good thing is, uh, I got a really good uh, staff that you know held things together when I, before I could get there. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to this season just for the simple fact of you know the growth that we saw towards the end of last year and returning as much as we do this year, you know, adding a Gracie Brown to our roster is, uh, you know, that's going to be big for us. When we talked about this team last year, you kind of made it known that it was not really almost a year one. It was year zero for how much you had to teach these girls, not only the game, but the fundamentals of the game as well when it came to trying to make it out on the basketball court that really allowed for some growing pains. But you mentioned the growth now during the off season, and hopefully here at the start of this season. What is maybe some of the growth that you've really seen, and maybe even if it's just growth in numbers? Yeah, I mean, we, we got good numbers uh, uh, that's come out for tryouts the last two days. And, uh, you know, where we are right now uh, – is night and day compared to where we went into the season last year. Uh, you know, girls have, uh, you know, they put the work in the weight room. We did strength and conditioning over the off season. They showed up, they worked out, they, they did their, did their thing there. And then skills and drills stuff that, you know, working on left hands, working on being able to dribble with both hands, stuff like that, uh, shot fundamentals. You know, they put the work in and where we're at now, day two of trials was farther along than we made it last year. And coach, uh, one of the things that I think was kind of holding your team back last year, you kind of touched on it a little bit there, was just lack of experience. And you mentioned uh, picking up Gracie, who's obviously a great athlete, uh, and she has basketball experience, but she didn't play last year. Just having that extra year now of, of this group that returns, that now has played some varsity basketball together and, and also adding you know, the athletic abilities of Gracie, how do you think that will help your team this season? Well, I mean, you know, Maggie started for us as a freshman last year, and, you know, we threw her to the wolves early on as a starting point guard as a freshman. And we knew it was going to be growing pains for her because at the end of the day, you know, when you throw a freshman out there with juniors and seniors, it's a different style of game than the the middle school. So, you know, we knew that, you know, she would struggle a little bit there, but, uh, you know, she put a lot of work in in the offseason, a ton. And, you know, we got faith and confidence in her that, you know, she's going to make a big jump this year. She's got a lot more confidence in herself. Um, and, you know, adding, a, adding Gracie, you know, Gracie's a tall, long, athletic uh, young lady that, you know, can handle the ball. So it's going to take some stress off Maggie. And then we got Jasmine Brown back. So going forward, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. And now for your team, you being the head coach in your second season, Looking at the section, being a second-year coach has you tied for the most tenure within the section now as Spring Mills got a new head coach, Coach Fitzpatrick at Martinsburg's also in his second season. So just talk a little bit about uh, just what you've learned being a coach in basketball and uh, the expectation that you're trying to bring to potentially be section champions. You know, I, 
you know, and, and again, you get, you get into the EPAC. We always, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's football, basketball, baseball, softball, soccer. You know, we, we play in a tough conference uh, all across the board, male, female athletics. It's, it's, it's a tough conference. And, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Fitzpatrick over at Martinsburg did a tremendous job in the move last year. And, you know, Washington returns a lot. So, for us, it's, it's going into this season as, you know, I asked them the other day, I said, what's the goal? What do we want out of this? And, you know, they want to they want to compete for a sectional championship, and they want to they want to qualify for state. So, you know, at the end of the day, they have an expectation. Uh, you know, and I told them yesterday that will be the easiest practice you've ever had. Uh, so these days going to get harder and harder. And they're buying into it, and the, the energy in our gym right now is you know uh, something that you know probably hasn't been around here in a long time. All righty, Coach, before we let you go, get to our fun question for this week. And it's uh, just tell us about growing up, what sports you played, the positions, and a favorite memory. Uh, I played football, basketball, baseball. Uh, yeah, probably the greatest memory I have here, uh, is especially when I moved here my senior year at Hedgesville High School, uh, would definitely be uh, when we played Martinsburg in the sectional at Shepard. Uh, packed house, sold out. Kevin Pitts and on all them, and you know that was a that was a really really good game. And it, you know you don't see those games like that anymore. Uh, so that would be probably my best memory. What positions did you play in those sports? Uh, I was a forward, basketball, quarterback, fullback, linebacker, football, baseball, pitcher, and catcher. All righty, Coach. Appreciate the time as always, and catch up with you again later on down the road here for high school basketball all right i appreciate everything folks